Alright, hello everyone, this is Dan, uh, aka D Money All Star on a whole bunch of different sites. Um, recently got into uh, CNC plasma cutting and got me a brand new Hypertherm Power Max 45 XP. Uh, this thing's fresh out of the box. Um, got the RS485 serial upgrade kit. Uh, for the 45 XP. I had a really hard time finding any information on this install, uh, even opening the case. I couldn't find anything online, so I hope this helps uh, someone, anyone, in uh, doing this upgrade on this new wonderful machine that Hypertherm's come out with. Um, so what you're going to get is kit number 428654. It's specifically for the 45 XP. I had accidentally bought the wrong kit, the 228-539 kit, which is for the 6585-105. That's the wrong kit for this machine. Um, so make sure you get this this uh, this part number here. Thanks to um, Justin at Baker's Gas and Welding Supply. Um, out uh, where are they, Washington, Ohio, for helping me out and get me situated and get, get the parts exchanged. And whatnot. So, uh, what you're going to get is the screen bubble wrap. You're going to get a bag with a ground cable in it, um, some screws for the connector in the back, and your board and everything will be in this green uh, in this pack here. Everything will be in the in the green bag. So, the first thing you need to do is, and I've already installed this kit. If you notice. So first, what I went ahead and did is on the bottom of the machine, there are two uh, Torx head screws. If I can get this thing under here, you can see right in the middle there, there's a recessed screw. And right in the middle there, there's a recessed screw. Uh, pull those out. They'll just give you a little more free play when you take the cover off. And then on the very top here, you've got a screw here, a screw here on the handle of these. Phillips head screws. Make sure you take them all the way out. It just makes the whole case cover removal much easier. So once you get the, get those off, you'll pull the front. This will this will be able to move just enough that you can slide the tang of the, the handle off and pull this whole thing out, set it aside, and you'll also be able to peel the move the back enough to uh, expose either edge of this cover slide it right off and voila you got this this uh beautiful guts of this machine so you got this vellum cover over here just flip that up back it's riveted to the bottom on that side so it won't fall off and what's neat about this machine is that there's a little space all nested and cozy in here for this board it's got a tab on either side that it clicks into and then there's two alignment holes, one on the top, one on the bottom. It fits with the labels out, four pin on top, five pin on the bottom. Uh, and, and that's the only way it really fits. So to the cables. Start with your uh, serial connector in the back, two Torx head screws. Don't go too tight on these. You're screwing the metal into plastic, so don't overdo it. It's only a couple turns and they're in, and they're in as much as they need to be. So don't overdo it. Um, so to run that wire, you see the gray wire here, um, I'm behind the air filter, but underneath this green wire here, actually I think I went between the two of them, um, behind the air line, underneath this board, down and around, I'm on this side of those rainbow cables, and flip down underneath to the board. Um, it's the five pin. It's got to be situated like that. It, they only fit one way. Um, see, it's really hard to screw up. And your four pin connector that goes to your board is run here. It's behind almost everything. It's in front of that board, but it's behind almost every wire. Um, it just fits nice and neat in there. They've got a nice little groove. Oh, where'd we go? In here already for the cable. Um, and then it's the only open uh, four pin connector here or five wire, whatever that is, I don't know. But um, it only goes in one way, uh, it's super simple. Um, and then your ground wire, it's got one tab, goes down and around, and you can't really see it, but between this, this fin here and the case, there's clearance, and that wire can fit right underneath there, 
and there's a ground to this big green wire here already and I just it reaches perfectly to there um, so that's where I assume it goes it's a nice grounded piece of metal um, the one thing you want to remember to do is when you get this board before you get out of the bag ground the bag to a piece of metal on, on here somewhere get the board out ground the board on a piece of metal in here maybe just touch down here uh, just get all the static electricity out you don't want to fry your board do something stupid uh, but that's it I mean it's it's that simple it's a few connections and a couple screws um, and to put everything back together I mean you just flip this vellum back over just goes back on there like so slide the cover back on clamp it back together screw 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 and you're done and another thank you to Charles Bird, I believe his name is, at Hypertherm for uh, some assistance on the phone with ordering uh, all the right stuff too. So Charles at Hypertherm and Justin at Baker's, thank you very much for uh, your assistance. And everybody on Plasma Spider and on uh, Facebook site CNC Tips and Tricks for Plasma, CNC Plasma. Um, lots of great people on there, lots of great help. But uh, that is it. Thank you very much.